Hey y'all, my name is Kim Morgana, and welcome back to the Sims 4 Ultimate Decade Challenge. This is year 1336, and we are... Well, let me pause this. <laughs> I can hear things happening. We are deep in... Well, not deep, but we are in the middle of winter. The sun is shining, the snow is falling. I love this, like, hazy look that Henry Bagley has going on. Mary's running i'm not sure if she's running to the house or what but yeah let's get started so we have a few things planned for this episode and a couple of announcements well not really announcements but just updates so for one we go away one we're waiting on the birth of this baby i i don't know if i want it to be a girl or a boy like i want a boy just because we have a we're in the time period where we're possibly going to lose all three of our boys or possibly not who knows but at the same time i don't well i don't think cornelius will like do something weird with the whole like who he thinks should be heir to the family thing i you know i don't i want to keep it safe and i also would like for us to have girls who get married and all that types of stuff because we're saving up for dowries for a reason next Amir's birthday is in this episode, at the end of the episode, I think his birthday is, it's tomorrow actually, it's in the middle, <laughs> but I was just trying to decide whether or not I wanted him and his fiance Mary to be wed immediately, or like wait, that's not what to click on, or like wait a little bit, and I'll give them a few months, but they will, I, I, promise you no one texts me all day and as soon as i want to record now my notification when i go off and my lip gloss is leaking oh god oh it's fine anyways so i'm thinking um we're gonna have them get married on saturday it'll prob i would love for it to be here but we just don't really have room for a wedding here i probably would have used this area here but um well, there's blacksmithing stuff inside of it. So what I'm thinking is we'll probably hold the wedding at um, the Shearer's place, which is Robert's place, because just because they got so much room and it'll be a it'll be an outdoor wedding, I suppose. V something very informal, strictly because or actually, no, I'll go back to that church. Um, TLDR, the church is actually in Windenburg <laughs> that um that Mary and Cornelia not Mary that Alice and Cornelius had their wedding in is in Windenburg because I don't have any empty lot spaces here in Henford on Bagley and I just pretended it was Henford on Bagley so we might go back to that church and we're just gonna pretend that that's Henford on Bagley um only reason I'm scared to say that is because it's it's snowing in Henford on Bagley so I know for a fact it's probably snowing in Willow Creek and I don't want everybody chaining into their formal wear. And then they just start dropping dead from the cold. So I'm actually thinking I'm just going to invite everyone here. Actually, I'm going to gather them all around. We're going to have Mary, uh, Alice make a cake and like a little feast. And it's going to be an informal wedding. Uh, somewhere uh, on the lot. And then they could just go inside and feast and celebrate the the marriage, the very first Smith marriage besides besides Alice's, right? But the very first Smith like male heir marriage, right? So I think that's what we're gonna do. Um, I would love to have a wedding, but if it was spring, I would have considered it. But it's it's too cold, and I they're they're gonna die because I've had it happen before where I've had winter weddings, even if it was outside. I mean indoors, the mere fact that they were in their formal wear they they was freezing to death especially people who are pregnant they're going to be walking slower and it's just it's too much so unfortunately it won't be an actual ceremony for this time around but hopefully next time we can also this is for next episode just because i think i might go ahead and film the next episode right after this who, who knows but i was trying to this 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 is year 1337 which is the year we will be rolling to see who is and is not going to war and you know assuming amir survives his birthday tomorrow um i'm going to be rolling for him and cornelius i thought about waiting till Winterfest for stefan to age up because that's the last 
um few months of 1337 but i actually decided i want to give stefan a little bit of a fighting chance and my bloodline a little bit of a fighting chance that to give him five years to kind of start working get a name for himself get married and possibly have a child or two just in case um i'm also gonna have mary and amir already like like immediately start trying for children <laughs> Will this be Alice's last child that she has? Maybe I'll have her get pregnant once more. I think she'll give birth today. If not today, then on Amir's birthday. Amir will show her birthday with his baby sibling. And then she'll get Friday off or Thursday off, whichever, whenever she gives birth. And then Saturday slash Sunday before we roll for Cornelius, I'll have the Muhu again and try for pregnancy. But other than that, I don't think we're going to be getting a lot of children out of Cornelius. It might be a, a Jacques effect where we just don't have time, unfortunately. <sighs> so, yeah, that's the plan for now. And yeah, so the, um, the family's not really getting into anything much today. Really just cleaning and eating. The kids are asleep. They're going to be waking up soon. Oh. I'm keeping an eye on Cornelius just because he he's at work, but... He changed into his regular, he changed out of his winter clothes into his regular clothes, which um, is fine normally. But during the winters, I've had Sims literally come back from like school and work in their uniforms or their whatever clothes they wear that's not their winter clothes and immediately freeze as soon as like, as soon as work is over, or as soon as school is over and they get back on the lot. So I'm keeping an eye on him. He gets off at five, question mark. He gets off a little bit before... No, he gets off at 2, so I need to keep an eye out for him. So for right now, she's just doing chores. Um, I'm assuming she and Robert, or Robert's wife, are making wedding preparations. Besides that, there are a few things I do want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and wake up Amir, because Amir wants to get to know Kristen, who is um, Robert's wife and his future mother-in-law. So I'm going to go ahead and get him up. The other kids, I'll get Nura up. I'll let everyone else kind of take a moment to sleep in a little bit. Oh, did I actually clean out the water? I'm pretty sure I did. I don't know. I hope I, I hope it did. Have them start getting ready for the day, eating and all that. And a little later on, I will have Amir go to the Shearer's house. Oh, oh this needs to be cleaned desperately. Go to the Shearer's house so that we can um, befriend Kristen, which is strange. I wonder why he wants to be friends with Kristen. He barely wants to talk to Mary, isn't interested in Robert, didn't care about any of the other siblings. So I wonder what it is about Kristen. Maybe he's trying to make a good impression so that when he shows his true colors to his wife, I guess, um, he'll have someone in that family on his side. He probably saw a protective Robert of... Robert was of Mary last time when they met each other as fiancés for the first time. We'll see, though. We will see. But he goes to work it for to his squire job, so I want to go ahead and have him eat real quick. Nara, be careful. Be careful. God. Okay, y'all gonna hug. Yeah, hug and don't kill her. Stay out of this spot. This is the danger zone. She's got to pee. <laughs> uh, Alice is kind of going through it. Not in a bad way. She's just, she's just very pregnant. She's so pregnant. And she's got to... <sighs> I said hug. I didn't say do whatever you... Amir, what'd you do? Okay. Amir and Nura have a difficult family dynamic. Sure. Amir, what did you do? Stop being mean to your sister. The only person on Amir's side, kind of, sort of is um this year okay oh wow and here's kristen the alien wife he still doesn't know that this family is aliens she's probably not having a good time oh he she they found him at already yeah probably not having a good time with this weather she's also pretty paranoid right now oh, let's do some small talk get to know her Ask about her day. Loves music? Oh, my mom loves music too. Talk about favorite animal. 
discuss current weather. Let's see. Let's, um... I don't know what he's trying to get out of becoming friends with Krishna. He never thought about her before he was engaged with Miri. I don't know. Talk about siblings. Be like, oh, yeah, I'm the oldest out of all of them. Stories? No. Uh... Okay, every I, he's allergic to something on this far. <laughs> he's hearing him gasp for breath is actually terrifying, bro. So he's been out here for a while making friends. I wonder if we can stop by and see if Mary is here. Yeah, see, they would have room for like a little wedding back here, but um, yeah, it would legitimately just which door do you knock? Oh, it's on the inside, ain't it? it they would legitimately just start freezing to death. No? Can we not knock on a door? I don't want to switch control. I just want to knock. Knock, knock? Knock, knock? Yes? No? This is weird. What? We have so many doors. Which one is it? Is it you? No, I see someone carrying a baby. Okay, I guess they're not really open for visitors. At oh, wait, it's this one. The toilet room is the main door for some reason yeah let's see if um let's see if mary is here y'all will be wet in just a few months so you might as well kind of get used to each other's presence and it, it you know the, <laughs> she won't have to live in this terribly cramped room anymore at the very least robert's here you might as well have you never introduced yourself to wow i thought you did let me introduce yourself to robert Seems that Mary is somewhere. Not here, though. Um, where's Mary? That's uh, the eldest son's wife and their child. Here's her child from her previous marriage. Oh, Mary's right here. Mary's uh, in this kitchen. They're eating a loaf of bread or something like that. They'll talk about, a, I don't know, something. He's talk to oh there's her brother yeah i guess uh robert summoned mary in here oh, i didn't know there's a door right there this is a spacious house it's just that there's so many people and everything's kind of cramped together there's no individual rooms but if someone with money moved in here they wouldn't even have to do much like there's a gigantic plot for a farm plenty of space for chickens and cows and all of that but the kitchen could like it could remain separate but i feel like this kitchen could be made into like a smaller kitchen in this area and we could like put a wall here and turn this into two bedrooms this could be a separate bedroom this could be a separate bedroom and then we could turn this into like an in-law ensuite room something like that like this there's definitely a lot but <laughs> Like, if um, Amir were to move in here, like, if their son passed away or something and he didn't really have anything to inherit, definitely would be able to do a lot more in here. Okay, so they're all talking. He's like, wow, it's actually freezing outside. It sure is. Talk about freezing temperature. Take care of yourself, because I know you're not in your winter outfit. Talk about siblings. Monkey around. Yeah, just like play a little bit, you know, get in good, good graces with the family. Uh, should you get her a gift? You should. Oh, you should just took a flower from your sister and, and gave her a flower. Or Nasir likes to make. Why are these two fl flirting? Why? Are Okay, we're gonna let them flirt in peace, and Amir's gonna go back home. Okay. But yeah, this is a nice, spacious house. A lot could be done with this space, but it's clearly meant for, like, large peasant families who rely on farming and just pushing out babies. Which Robert really didn't do. He only had three kids. <laughs> he had three kids, and they were both like, yeah, we're done, that's it. But, like... Who had a lot of, like the geese? The geese could have. The geese house is so small, but they probably would have really benefited from this house because there's so many of them. 
or even um mary's little brother well no it's 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 a lot of families in that house too all right you are going to freak me out please change into proper clothing i know when you're doing blacksmithing it's hot and you're next to the fire but i desperately 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 want you to be warm when you're outside okay um i know you're hacking and coughing and choking and dying but don't do any of that actually you where is the clothes the clothes keep disappearing off the clothesline look at these two wait look at these this is definitely more of like a mirrors thing i don't i don't know if stefan will find this too too fun or invigorating or anything like that but yeah i think that nura not nura i think that alice would definitely be pushing the boys to practice their archery and safety a lot more in the coming the coming months up to a couple of years because she knows that the war is coming and she keeps hearing news from people traveling trying to escape their villages and everything being turned down burnt down that you know sons who are of who are of age are being whisked away to fight in this war you know sons who are not prepared to do any type of battle at all like farming sons and sons who are practicing to be artists well not artists it's the artistic revolution hasn't occurred yet but you know what i mean like the sons who were not equipped for this type of lifestyle at all who were not raised by knights yes their father was one but he passed long before he could even attempt to teach them to hold a sword you know or shoot an arrow alice was the one who taught all their all the kids how to shoot their first arrow and that's all she knows how to do <laughs> she knows how to do like basic hunting with the bow and arrow and like shooting targets but not protecting you know so i'm all right thanks willow so i think this is really cute to have them out here like this look at them though they're i don't know how well they're doing or not but they're trying their best it seems um somebody who had a bunch of pets was Ah, this guy died. Okay. Go away. I, I don't even care. Willow, that's dangerous. Move. Amir, Amir's allergic to something too. I just heard him hacking. Well, Amir's not upset. Amir's not too upset at this. Actually, well, Stefan's going a, little, a bit longer. I think he's a bit more disciplined. Oh, no, he just stopped <laughs> right when I said that. How about you and willow going a bit of a ride willow's getting older willow is older so willow's an elder you only have a few more rides left with willow so i think you should keep it safe and slow and go on a little bit of a slow ride with willow oh mary oh you're an angel mary's cleaning our bathroom for us thank you so much mary we love and appreciate you deeply everyone's gonna get a little bit of a late night snack and then head to bed it will pick up in the morning on amir's birthday i was wrong we're actually gonna pick up right now because alice went into labor as soon as i pressed pause um you can come grab something to eat real quick mary is going to take her last few bites and then come come have this baby unfortunately cornelius is out He's on his way back though, so as soon as he comes back, he's going to run straight upstairs, straight to their bedroom. The baby's coming, the baby's coming. Are you? Oh god, he fell asleep in the bath. All right, Alice, what are we having? Is it a girl? Is it a boy? Yeah, the girl. Okay. Oh, okay, we need to do a lot of things. First, we need to name the girl. I have my name picker wheel out, and because the last thing we named, last thing, the last thing we named was a girl, the girl is already up. So let's go ahead and spin for this girl. She can keep her father's last name. I don't mind. Nicola. Ooh. Nicola Humphreys is the only one. Okay, so it's not twin um we need to <laughs> roll for survival <laughs> i cheered for nothing okay well i hope i didn't cheer for anything so let's get a d20 out and let's remember to 
let's let's run over the baby first we want to avoid numbers 5 10 15 and 20 so nicola rolled a seven all right nicola survives her birth and we need to avoid the number one for alice alice rolled an eight okay i thought she's about to get a one i got really nervous all right both of these lovely ladies survived oh it seems like alice had a pretty rough pregnancy because she's about to pass right on out she's about to pass out so let's just have her get right in the bed he passed out in here <laughs> they're both just really exhausted right now all right y'all it's the next day and it is amir's birthday i'm so excited but i'm also kind of nervous so he has pretty let me not say anything let me just do this we're gonna age him up and the number <laughs> that we want to avoid is number seven right we just want to avoid number seven so i'm gonna go ahead and roll just to make sure he how how okay he rolled a seven he has a death flower so he's actually not dying but i wanted that death flower for the war <laughs> no i was literally about to say there's such low chances of getting that and there is and he still got it okay what are you an extrovert you're a stone-hearted extrovert that makes sense recently he's been actually trying to like start making friends and everything like that hmm stone-hearted extrovert you don't want to be a friend of the world hmm should it be something under the desk where's the evil one uh defiance seeker of secrets villainous valentine chief of mischief public enemy hmm maybe seeker of secrets i don't know i'd say chief of mischief maybe mm, he's not really a prank guy i'll say this he wants a successful lineage and that one is true everything he's did that's harmed other people has come nearly completely been we're going to ignore that he's got a uh, shark teeth going on here and um why is he dying why is he randomly dropping dead um does he have a cold well he was coughing earlier well he doesn't have allergies here not part white something tastes funny oh he's got a he's a little sick right now so maybe he caught like a bit of a cold during this time which is the the family starting to catch a cold again and uh, nasir has it and uh amir does too so let's see sim commands what am i doing i'm killing him <laughs> okay should i even bother yeah i'll do it how is he dying um not freezing because they're pretty okay i'll say yeah i'll say it was um not poison he's just sick well that's not a thing here all right let's do poison so he'll fall to the ground but the grim reaper will see his uh his flower i think hopefully he caught a bit of a cold and died goodbye I need to go into Mary's household real quick and mark her so that the game doesn't age her up and get her married without my permission. Because <laughs> they will do that within like a day. They don't waste no time. Why is Cornelius like, okay, he's crying. I was about to say, oh, this is almost poetic. It's the same spot. Yeah, Alice is not happy with this one. Oh God, where's Stefan? Stefan sleep. <laughs> Stefan is knocked out, bro. He's he's also sick. I can tell he's getting tired all the time. Okay, Grim, where are you? Where are you? So we can use this flower and go. Is he even bothering to okay? Now let me make sure he has a flower. He should. Yeah, it's right here. No, that's the daisy. It's right here so death should be like well they don't know that so i wonder if cornelius 
seduce into sparing. Plea, plea from here. You plead for him. It's your wife's new son. If we plead for him before he even gets a chance to use the flower, does that count? Oh, it worked! Amir still has his death flower because Cornelius is able to plead because he... Oh my gosh, thank you to the person. I will put your name on the screen because I don't have it. my comments up right now. But someone a few episodes ago when Nerida... It was, it was from an older video but um was pretty much telling me i needed someone who was completely unafraid of death and to wait until death had his ipad out to plead and it worked so cornelius is now good which we knew before i knew he was a good man but now he officially has the good personality trait and it seems that amir really looks up to him the only other man amir has looked up to is nawaf and jacques a little bit but mostly nawaf so this is really interesting. I wonder if Amir is going to feel like he owes Cornelius a favor now. Okay. Crisis averted. And death flowers. They don't even know that he still had a death flower. They don't even know that he had one to begin with. Amir has been brought back to life. Cornelius's impassioned pleas to the Grim Reaper must have worked. So I guess he's getting married and Cornelius has discovered a new personality trait. Wow. Cornelius? He's looking pretty smug and happy about this. Why did you turn the corner before all that? Cornelius, don't don't be weird like a bear. Oh wow. Okay. Amir just struggles on his birthday, huh? Oh he's he's so strong and fit. He's really just like a mirror. Wow. He is just like a mirror. Ignore the uh, monster team. <laughs> I need to give him a makeover. Let me save. That was a lot. Oh, look, your mommy's here to help you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mommy's here. Never fear. And we're going to go ahead and age you up as well. As soon as you're done eating. You might as well get a two for one special. And let me look here. Thursday. Yeah. Let me look here real quick. So in fits we are want to avoid numbers 12 16 and 18. so let's move along see what's happening you already know what's happening i guess she wanted to go see with her own eyes again blonde how are you blonde oh no i think that's supposed to be his light brown hair she's a calm baby lovely and let's roll. <laughs> I want to avoid 12, 16, and 18. 10. Okay. Ooh, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And he's feeling kind of cold. You are wearing booty shorts and a t-shirt and in, in freezing cold weather, bro. You're lucky you didn't freeze to death. All right. I'm going to give these guys a makeover and I will be right back. All right, y'all. This is Amir. He's so handsome. He looks so much like Nawaf. Can I get this away? Thank you. He looks so much like Nawaf. It's not even funny. He's Nawaf with freckles. Like, he looks so good. I know he's supposed to be 13, but this is his entire teenager look. So let's just pretend he's a. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, this is our 13 year old. <laughs> This is our 13 year old. This is Amir, who's not dead and still somehow has a death flower. But I'm not going to say that Cornelius uh, wants any sort of compensation from Amir or even feels that Amir owes him something now that he's officially saved his life without Cornelius having to reveal that he had a death flower or death himself revealing that. So I'm not sure why Death granted it to Cornelius to allow Amir to go and allow and and also let Amir keep his death flower for another day. I have no clue. But um yeah, so he's still alive. He looks devious as always. He looks like the town bad boy. And I, I feel like a lot of the teenage girls in town would kind of develop a bit of a crush on him. 
but he's spoken for and will be wed in months like like i said before i normally would try to wait until they were 16 but don't really get that luxury with a war coming and both of the families pushing him towards towards uh pushing both of them towards marriage as quickly as possible also i i think that amir would want or feel that he had some type of debt to pay off to cornelius i'm not i don't necessarily think that uh cornelius believes so in cornelius's eyes this is his stepson this is the eldest child of his wife he loves alice and will do you know what he can to make her happy and if doing something as simple as asking death not to not to kill her eldest son and death actually listens you know that's it's not something you know he he wouldn't do again right so i don't know but i think he has a bit more respect for the guy and he's grown out his hair quite a bit all right let's move on so i can show y'all uh the little one nicola nicola and last but not least this is our adorable baby nicola nicola i i'm still not sure how to pronounce that name specifically i want to pronounce it like nicolai like nicolai nicola nicola i don't know i've never heard the name i've heard nicole but like they they end up throwing me off anyways this is her she does have freckles that are quite dark but her skin is dark so it's it's looking like the freckles are light she's also she's not blonde she's got her daddy's really light brown hair which i love i love the different genetics we get with the kids and in true smith fashion she's got bright green eyes <laughs> so and yeah it looks like hmm i can't tell her how her eye shape is gonna look so far but she's definitely got cornelius's lips as for her nose i actually don't remember what cornelius's nose looks like but she's got her mom eye color cornelius's skin color and hair color so she's got a, a good mix of both of them and it'll, it'll it'll just be a while as we watch her grow up to see whose um facial features she got did she get anything else that i just can't see nope i i struggle with having my kids get she get any skin details doesn't look like it i love this new update i do y'all have this problem where like technically skin details are supposed to be randomized but they just like my sims besides this one freckles they never <laughs> randomize with skin details it makes me kind of sad but i don't know hopefully it happens one day anyways that's it now we can move on with the day <laughs> and i suppose we should get started with some preparations for the wedding right actually this is fantastic because not only is he old enough to um look at he's so handsome that smirk remains it's i don't know he reminds me a little bit of ghetto from jujutsu kaisen he reminds me of ghetto in any in any rate um what we're gonna do one he has so much time does he still have his squire job he does he's still an armor polisher um i'm gonna let him keep this i feel like he probably would have yeah he's a squire and trainer i feel like he definitely would have got more it's been years you know he's been doing it since he's six he's 13 now he's more than trained enough to be a squire in training so let's see what we can get everyone else to oh actually this gives us plenty of time to hang out with the other three kids because there's so many more kids in the village we can definitely take time to have them meet some of the others within the village stefan is feeling kind of bad today and extremely tired we know how that went last time so i'm just gonna have him rest cornelius is also see the thing is i want to be here so that we could be with cornelius while he you know forages and everything because we need it but i also desperately want the kids to travel across the village whatever he he's gonna be taking saturday off anyways for the wedding so we'll have time I'll probably have him work on a skill or something. But Nasir, the oh, I'll have the twins 
um go out and make some friends so let's have nasir go pee really quickly come on thank you you can pee and then i know it's 6 p.m <laughs> I don't know where the day went. The day is, is, is just ran away from me. And the, they're going to travel to some people's houses and we're going to see what friends we can make along the way because some people have aged up. Um, all of the toddlers have aged up. So they're around their age, slightly younger, but close enough. All right. So let's come visit the geese. Mm, they have an elder son who uh, married this lady over here. Anyways, let's go see the geese. Now you might be like, I thought there were like 10 people in the house and there were, but um, literally the day I was talking about, the day I explained Robert's situation, the <laughs> is the day that the sister and her husband moved out. So it's just these guys. Um, this guy recently aged up, so I didn't really get a chance to give him a makeover. But let's, I didn't mean to pause, I meant to play. <laughs> but both of you can come say hi, especially you, Nura. We can kind of start looking for future husbands and see who's piquing your interest. I heard about the passing of someone special to you. I want to offer my condolences. Who? Oh, uh, <laughs> Amir, obviously. Let's say hi to him. Let's say hi to Philip. Come on, it's, it's rude to just walk away when they're a guest. He's gonna go hug his mom. I think Philip is a little bit too old older than them but you know let's be funny and respectful and all that talk to riley and talk to uh yeah all of you could just talk together it doesn't seem that riley really wants to talk let's give him a pep talk she's very energetic she's really looking forward to meeting these people don't die change clothes or do die whatever hey, you're not my household you know, he's talking about the current weather. Like, well, it's it's really cold. <laughs> it's pretty cold out here. Look, at, these guys are peasants, but you know, doesn't mean they can't marry. They get married or anything like that. Oh, you're looking. He's looking quite a bit. No, oh, maybe he's just curious. Do you have anybody have a crush on Nura? Nah, I think they're all just chilling. They're all just friends for now. Okay. This is chill. I don't know why you dropped your smile like that all of a sudden. She's so pretty, bro. She is so pretty. He's definitely the calm brother, and this one is a bit more excitable. And Nura is a lot more talkative than her brother in this instance. Their mom is just like, I'm going to take this opportunity to get some cleaning with these kids out of my face. <laughs> That's very fair. Wait, um, it's getting late, so I can't stay here all- He snuck some fish head stew out of his pocket, bro. <laughs> Nura is a bit tired of talking to the geese, so let's head out and travel with someone else. There's a girl right next door to them in their, um, their grandparents' old place, the place where Mary- not Mary, the place where Alice grew up at. So we'll see her. That's, she's too young. There's a bunch of kids here at the Tovars and no we'll, mary will literally be moving in with them in a few months so let's go here instead okay <laughs> all right we're at the geese not the geese who are y'all the tovars question mark stephanie's too young are they not here there's literally like eight of them oh here <laughs> here's one this is somebody's sign i don't know i don't know which one it is shannon foley hey shannon let's come give her introduction let's uh introduce ourselves we should probably knock on this door there's probably more people inside as well i would like her to make some friends her age oh forgot to give him a makeover i would like her to make some friends her age as well so they're both meeting this person here there's so many crying toddlers why are you calling alice alice Alice, we live... Sure, come over. <laughs> we live to... Really? Okay, I guess that Alice felt a little bit left out and wanted to see who her children are making friends with, I suppose. I don't know. 
These guys are talking. Oh, 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 okay. More of the kids has stepped outside. Don't need you anymore. Nura, let's uh let's get Santino over here and this girl, Melanie. Let's get everybody over here. Aw. Look at these guys making friends, talking to people. I want her to make a female friend too. <clears throat> I have to like cough for some reason in my gut. Melanie, don't be shy. Come on. They're really nice. These are the nice siblings. If it was me, I'd understand, but Nasir and Nura are actually really nice. So you need to introduce yourself to these guys as well. And Melanie, I wish that there was a system. I know that there is a first crush mod, um, for, like for kids, but I wish there was a system where Kids can get like little kitty crushes on each other as well. And there's another. Okay, I was like, I knew there was like an abundance of children in this household. <laughs> I knew that for sure. Where are you going? I guess you have to do chores with the chickens or something. But come over here and see who all your siblings are talking to. Well, her name is Christina and she's super pretty. I could definitely see her becoming pretty close with Alice. Your name isn't Alice, Nura. I could definitely see her becoming close to Nura because they're literally right next door. You know? Oh. Okay. This allergy system is so real. <laughs> like, yeah, let's just talk. I asked to seek help. <laughs> she immediately looked at her and was like, something's wrong here. Let's get to know her. Um, tell an outrageous story. Oh, she's shy. Of course she's shy. She's all alone with probably no friends in just like this small little area. Like to even get to their house, she'd have to come. Well, it's not too far of a walk, but you know, like it's not. Yeah, she's probably a little shy. She doesn't have any siblings or anything like that. Probably doesn't have many friends. I think that Alice and this girl should. I'm. I'm gonna just keep talking. I think that Nura and this girl, she went to go hide behind her dad. <laughs> oh. oh, she went to go scare him. Okay. <laughs> so she's shy with meeting other people. She's mostly just got her parents in there who make her comfortable. So her dad's here being a bit intimidating, glaring down at Nasir. He's like, who's this boy? Who are you talking to my daughter? He probably sees the expensive furs and all that and, you know, fix your... Yeah, he immediately smiled, fix his face. And that's right. Don't be rude. He's probably like, oh, have fun talking. Have fun talking to these guys, my dear Christina. I notice you've been feeling a bit off lately. Maybe she get checked out by a doctor. Nasir is so real, bro. <laughs> he is so funny. I can't believe he's carrying around a bowl of fish head stew. It's also the middle of the night. It's really late. All right, it's Saturday. Um, Amir is running for his life. He looks dastardly. And there's a fire on the lot. I'm not sure where the fire is, but he's running to extinguish it. I did not tell him to do that. Alice, Alice is not feeling good. So I'm not surprised she started a fire. She was trying to make roast some chestnuts for the wedding. Ugh. Okay. I'm not sure how he knew there was a fire inside when he was all the way over here. Say Marjorie from the fire. Marjorie's outside. You should have went to... How did y'all get in here so fast? Okay, whatever. Okay, well, Amir is fantastic with fire. Safe Nicola from the fire. I thought you put it out. We got money and everything. Yeah, let's just replace it with the money we just received. And now we have no chestnuts, so let's just clean these off. Stefan, Stefan. <sighs> okay, let me... <laughs> oh my goodness, he just ran outside because it was a fire. No, 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 I didn't mean to put that on, that's worse. Change into your cold weather. Why'd I click on hot weather? Change into your cold weather. Why is he so... He's tired because he's sick. Uh, this i'm gonna you're fine you're not hungry and you have energy you have energy too they they should have energy they're just sick and that's why this is happening oh god 
All right, well, I wanted there to be food for the... Leave Marjorie alone. I wanted there to be food for the wedding. And we have, only have a few hours of daylight left, so... All right, it took 15 and a half million years. And so these two were impromptu married in front of the house. The entire family is here is like witnesses, but there isn't an actual ceremony. So we're going to say, you know, back in the day, you know, a lot of peasants couldn't afford to have a ceremony. And so, you know, they would have a gathering with, you know, their close friends and family. And well, you're married once you consummate that marriage. So, you know, they're just going to celebrate it for now. Oh, the soup went bad. But let's uh let's call everyone to meal so that everyone can come and enjoy. These two are just chatting. Oh duh, let me show you Mary. <laughs> She's aged up quite nicely. She's not glowing because she's staying. She's glowing because she's an alien. I don't think they can see the glow. But uh, she is okay. I don't think that the I'm not sure how this relationship is going to go because Amir, you know, he's pretty conniving. And not only was she does she have the glutton trait, trait which she's had since she's a child, but she also got the slow witted trait. So she's not some. You know, I don't think she'd catch on as quickly to any of Robert's schemes as anyone else would. So, I don't know. I don't know what he's going to get away with, if he gets away with anything or, or what, but... The two families are here, Robert and Kristen and Alice and all of their children. Well, Robert's kids aren't, but Robert and his wife are. Yes, of course, Mary. Uh, I'm so sorry we didn't invite you. But it's just... Look at these. Oh, this is so... This is almost poetic. Look at Robert and Alice, each being on a separate head of the table. This is so interesting. This is so interesting. They're both on opposite ends of the table. Their families are united. He still looks a little, this is as close as he's ever going to get to marrying, uh, <laughs> to marrying, gosh, what's her name? Alice, ever. And it's kind of bittersweet to him. You know, loves his wife. I think his wife can kind of tell, like over the years, always knew that a large part of his heart relied, you know, resided with Alice wherever she was. And her sitting at this table for the first time, surrounded, okay, Cornelius, he's just happy to be here, surrounded by everybody as he sits across the table looking almost longingly, all right, looking almost longingly at Alice and what could have been for both of them is probably doesn't feel good for her either. He's, he's putting it together. Mary's just happy to have some food. Uh, I'm going to have to like start being clear about which Mary I'm talking about because so far we've been talking about Ginger Mary, our witch friend. But now with this Mary in the house, oh wait, I need to add her to the household. <laughs> add the family. You are a smith now. Her name will change eventually or I'll go into creative sim and change it. But you're married. How does it feel? Yeah, they're so, so young to be getting married, but... Yeah, they're all enjoying roasted chestnuts. And Alice and Robert are just like, okay, we hope he's going to take the... Um, is there a chicken in here? We hope that he's going to take the fact that his wife is an alien well, because he doesn't know. He's also exhausted. It's because they're sick, so I'm just going to cheat it. Um, Yeah, I know Alice has mental health issues, but... Uh, stop it! Stop doing alien things in front of people. Well, I guess they all are going to know that you're an alien now, so it doesn't matter. Yes, yeah, so let's look at Mary's traits really quickly. She's a glutton. She's slow-witted. She has some high self-esteem. She is straight and likes to cook, which is great. <laughs> so she's going to be a big help to Mary, to Alice. Why do I keep calling Alice Mary today? 
She's going to be a gigantic help. Look, she's already helping clean up. Uh, this is so sweet. So we're going to have two woohoos tonight because I want Cornelius and Alice to try for another baby. And then also Amir and Mary are going to consummate their marriage. And we'll see if she gets pregnant to, you know, even gets pregnant to begin with. So I want you two to consummate your marriage. Okay, Mary agreed. They're both gonna head upstairs and then Alice is, uh, or Cornelius is getting Alice. She, <sighs> my God, I knew she was gonna do this. He's too uncomfortable, so he's gonna say no. Come on, Alice. Did he say yes or no? Okay, he said yes. I thought about having her do it first. Okay. It didn't work. I kind of want to cheat and go ahead and see if she's pregnant or not. I'll just... I'll just have them do it twice. Because tomorrow... Oh gosh, guys. Bright and early tomorrow is... When... We will see if Cornelius or Amir will be going to war. All right, so hopefully she's pregnant. We'll I'll have them woohoo before um I if they go off to war, I'll have them woohoo again just in case. But uh, our toilet's broken again. Thank you, Mary. We stand Mary in this household. All right, and it is the middle of the night. People have been married. People have, I don't know, gone off and did so many other things. And now I'm going to, who, who should I go to? I'll go to Mary. Because Amir is somewhere. Oh, I'll go. Well, Mary's already right here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you all for watching this episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's hope and pray that Mary's pregnant. And also hope and pray that the baby survives. And I will see you all in the next episode where we'll be rolling to see if Amir and Cornelius are going to war. With that all said and done, I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye.